A funeral service is being held for a former prime minister who passed last weekend. While there are mixed assessments of Kim Jong-pil's legacy, he has posthumously bestowed the Bugunghwa Medal, the country's highest order of civil merit. Kan Yong-woo has the full story. The kingmaker and the eternal number two. Those were the phrases used by many South Koreans to describe former Prime Minister Kim Jong-pil, who died on Saturday at the age of 92. An estimated 3,500 people from all walks of life and from across the political spectrum had come to pay their respects over the past few days ahead of his funeral. The send-off ceremony was held early Wednesday morning with a eulogy from former Prime Minister Lee Han-dong. Former Japanese Prime Minister Yasuhiro Nakasone, an old friend of Kim's, sent his son to the service to pay respects on his behalf. Kim's body was cremated and his ashes have been placed in his family mausoleum in Puyo, Chungcheongnam-do province. His late wife, Park yong -ok, who died in 2015, is also interred there. Kim Jong-pil was the founder of the Korean Central Intelligence Agency, now the National Intelligence Service, and served as prime minister from 1971 to 1975, and again from 1998 to 2000. He also served a record nine terms as a lawmaker. He was the last of the so-called three Gims who were political heavyweights in the 1980s and 90s, together with former presidents Kim Dae-jung and Kim Yong-sam. Kan Yong-woo, Arirang News.